Oopsie poodle, <laughs> I broke reality again. Yeah, so I was messing around in Blender for like 20 minutes and I came up with this little piece of work. I, I don't know what you call it. And I'm just like, <laughs> hey, this could make a good YouTube video, you know? So here we are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try as hard as I can to make this a real tutorial and not just make the dumbest thing ever. And three, two, one, the illusion breaks. <laughs> yeah, he fakes his tutorials. This thing's not even real. Also, I gotta give a shout out to my new banner and profile because it's just like the greatest prank of all time. People go to my channel thinking it's all like professional and stuff. And then, <laughs> and then they click on a video and it's just like, Blender ASMR. <laughs> All right, so let me show you guys how to make this. Uh, we're in a fresh Blender viewport and we're just gonna delete everything. Now we can finally add in a cube. All right, hop on Google and just search for Triangle Illusion. And <laughs> would you look at that? Somebody more talented than you has already made it. Let's just copy off of him. Beautiful, just like that. Now to get started on this guy, we're just gonna have to delete the cube and add in a plane. Oh yeah, uh, rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Beautiful, go to a 2D view, uh, scale it down so it like sort of matches this guy. <laughs> I lied, we do need a cube. So we're gonna scale it down and then press R and Z so that it rotates just on the Z axis and then kind of play with that rotation and scale until it approximately lines up with this part of the uh, illusion. Now, as stupid as it seems, we're literally just gonna trace the picture. So I can box select these vertices, bring them up like this. See, this one goes all the way to the top up here. This one stops a little further down. Okay, so even though it looks like I've created some crazy little thing in 3D here, I've literally just stayed in this 2D view and just lined up these vertices along the picture. Like, if I left it, this thing would look horrendous right now, yeah. Okay, so we've traced over most of this illusion. I mean, once again, I'm literally just extruding the plane in this view. I'm not doing anything fancy. Now, this is where it gets a little bit challenging because you'll notice if I take this bit right here and extrude it, it breaks the illusion. All of a sudden, it looks fake again. You can still tell that this is 3D. So what we have to do is move these faces behind this plane right here. That's the key to this whole illusion. So back to the view, we can just press G and Y and then just slide your mouse up and down. We can start to see it go behind right there. Perfect. Now let's see how that looks in a solid view. Uh, not bad. It's pretty good, but there's a couple things we have to fix. Uh, you can see right off the bat, these faces, or I guess these vertices are a little bit too high right here. So I'll box select them and move them down just a little bit. Let's see, a little bit better, yeah. Then I'm noticing this whole side right here comes out just a little bit too far. So we can move it up just like this. I think that's better. Nice, so the form of this illusion is actually pretty good. I'd say we can line up a couple of these breaks right here too. Beautiful, that looks a little bit better. Okay, now the key to the rest of this illusion is going to be shadows in shading this Whole thing. Now we could spend like an hour messing around with lighting and sun placement, but <laughs> dog, who has time for that? So we're going to be doing it the lazy way. Make a new material, uh, it's going to be just as white as possible. Make another material, this one is going to be absolutely black. Make another material, this one is going to be kind of light gray, just, just a very, a very slight gray. The reference image has all the placements for the colors. How handy. We can select all these faces. These ones are gonna be the black, or let's actually try dark gray and see how that works on them. Then we have these faces up here. These ones are gonna be the light gray, very nice. Then all of these faces up here are just going to be white. Um, Clomace, that actually still looks really bad. Yup, I lied. We actually have to add a little bit of lighting to this. Go into a rendered view, press Shift A, add a light, add a sun, Increase that strength to max, increase that angle to max, go back to your 2D view, it looks a lot better. Okay, it took some fiddling with materials, messing around with the angles of the edges and stuff, but I think I've finally gotten something that looks pretty good. Shift A, camera, control, alt, numpad, zero. Fix the mistakes, fix the mistakes. Okay, I kind of screwed up the camera placement and it looks a little bit wobbly. So ideally you should have just had a camera the whole time instead of just using the 2D view like I was doing, because then you can model the whole thing off of that camera perspective and it's not gonna get like bugged up or anything. Uh, that was my fault, but it still looks pretty good. So go over to render properties, film, transparent, just like that. 
back to render view, render, render image. That looks so hot. But yeah, it's cool. I mean, obviously there's like some bumps and stuff in here. You can fix those if you try a little bit harder. I was just getting lazy with it. Yeah, I hope you guys learned something from that. And uh, yeah, see ya.